everyone welcome to my intuitive uh, energy channel hope you're doing well uh, I, I've been so busy today I will try to get this uh, across to you but I get here um, I get a shadow and King Charles actually feeling like he's been overshadowed by Harry with this Nigerian fake tour kind of thing uh, and he sees it as like uh, like a commonwealth, you know, going to the commonwealth. And um, so what I want to uh, pull out here is, um, and I'll just, I'll just get this, I'll just get this article up here. Is it an exclusive by the mirror? Uh, King Charles taking steps uh, to stop commonwealth, inviting Meghan and Harry to visit. Claims expert Prince Harry and Meghan have just finished a tour in Nigeria and the trip is said to have angered uh, King Charles who and, and again another one of his tantrums because he's been overshadowed um, who wants to stop them visiting other Commonwealth countries claims a royal expert and this was by uh, Jessica Gibb and uh, was published on the 14th of May 2024. So um, this is quite interesting um, because what I pick up here uh, is that um, it's very much uh, the King and Camilla not wanting to have their popularity diminished and um and I've, i pulled out two cards here of, of my own cards so um i do get like this energy of uh harry and megan wanting to make this tour their own you know having this uh refreshing kind of attitude which is uh you know really you know attention grabbing kind of attitude is being very kind of aminated arms all over and being very kind of um instead of this kind of stiff upper lip reserved attitude um and showering and showering the nigerians with their love and it's something that uh king charles could never do is is behaving that way so um and I, I get this card here, which it says, uh, tell you what, uh, uh, tell you what they love about you. Tell you what they love about you. They love about you is your refreshing manner. Okay. Head and shoulders above the rest of them. A bold and confident manner. Um, and, uh, so some people are saying that even, um, you know that he'd make a better king because of of his people because he's a people's person like his mother Diana. Um, people have been mentioning this, um, and and really kind of what this is is this boisterous attitude with Harry and and this uh, this card here is that he's doing this deliberately to to actually uh, grab the attention, grabbing the attention. And get, grabbing the attention of 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 his father and Camilla, his stepmother, and um, making them feel because they know they they know that they're insecure about being overshadowed and insecure about uh, about being not being popular. So did Harry do this on purpose? Um, and I get here, make make uh, yourself theirs, make yourself theirs, which is the people, okay, um, and that you belong there. And we're talking about uh, Megan, supposedly, of, is it 48% Nigerian in her? I'm not sure how much it was, but, um, you know, make make yourself theirs. And, um, and then we have this... Uh, this author that that said that um, I can't I, it's there somewhere, but said that actually that um, King Charles hated the tour in Africa. Um, so I actually get trying too hard, trying too hard. Somebody's trying too hard here. Coming on very very strong and, and flattering everyone here does not want to lose this battle. So is this a, is is this a chess move? Is this um 
you know, moving the pawn because, uh, you know, you said, didn't you say that you didn't like Africa and you're opposite to me, you're polar opposite to me, you, you back off when anybody shows you affection and all this kind of thing. Um, and we get the Commonwealth, okay, with this next card that I pulled out. The Commonwealth is a very, very important connection, connection for uh, King Charles. And he's mistrusting this energy from, well, I'm reading it there. You can read it yourself what it says there. I'm, I'm kind of linking it to uh, King Charles and uh, linking it to Harry. So I get this important connection. I've used this as an important connection in mistrusting this energy of Harry's and keeping, trying to keep, uh, keep it cool, you know, not to, to actually lose his temper, but he's lost his temper. He's got angry. He's actually played into the hands of, of Harry and Meghan. Um, and he's put all his cards on the table, how he feels about this. Um, He's actually won that game, actually. Harry has won that chess move. He's won that chess move. He's got under the skin of his father and Camilla. Um, yeah, lightness of spirit, having fun instead of being heavy and uh, serious and heavy, just lightness of spirit. Okay. Um, and this is part of Harry just moving. I feel that Harry kind of knew that he's going to push his luck here and he's going to, um, you know, uh, create this or whoever they invited Harry and Meghan over to Nigeria. They went along with it. I don't feel they asked permission or, or did they? Um, but um, obviously not if... if uh, King Charles is saying is furious about this. Okay, so um, yeah, so what I'm getting here is doing things out of their own emotions and it being very, very toxic. They also get uh, like a little bit of a humiliation, like a little bit of a humiliation ritual. You know, this is like, I'm going to humiliate you. I'm going to humiliate you. It's like a, a game, okay? It's like a humiliation ritual game. Uh, something that we don't understand because you know we go on we normally go on people's emotions normal people go on people's emotions and try not to tread on on their you know walk all over their uh their parade we try not to do that but this is like looking in that it's like they're they're really um you know, doing things and vocalising and actions because of their toxicity and their own emotions here. Um, it seems a little bit vindictive to me, especially, I don't know whether Camilla's, I do feel that Camilla's kind of got a finger in here too. Um, why would he want to, why on earth would he want to try to block you know, he is blatantly saying to the world, I'm going to block my own son from his successors. That's what he's saying. He's he's just really playing into the hands of Harry and Meghan. Harry and Meghan are going to be elevated. People are going to, you know, support them because of this. Um so um he's trying to is he trying to block his son's successors because that's the way it's going to come across. Um, it's going to be a bad PR move. You know, this is a bad PR move that you're doing here by saying this about your own son. Do you realise this? Um, yeah, we, we kind of knew. I knew it was a fake tour. I did a reading on that, that it was a fake tour. But why was it a fa fake tour? It was a fake tour to get under the skin of his own father. And it worked. It worked, okay. So I'm going to leave it there. I don't feel I need to pull any more cards out. Um, let's have a look here. Let's do a final pull out of, of a card here. Just to pull out a final card here. Please put comments in the comments section. Your thumbs up, your likes and your shares. And uh, subscriptions, okay. So uh, and thank you, any newcomers. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining our community. And please put your comments in the comment section if you're enjoying this content that I am providing, okay. So let's pull out a last card. Ooh, ruthless. 
I pulled out the ruthless, this is sheer, utter ruthlessness. You know what? They are so dark and twisted, that family. I'm beginning to think they're very kind of satanic. And look at the painting. That was satanic. I mean, if that symbolized a bloodshed over colonialism and um, and looking satanic and demonic, I don't know what is. Please put comments in the comments section and bye for now. Bye-bye.